Hey, all you fan freaking tastic people. It's your boy MB Dusa coming back for some more Final Fantasy 16. And uh, last episode we learned uh, did you get good by yourself? No accessories. So we'll you know we'll we'll see we'll see how that goes, right? Right? So so this this time we are gonna be looking at the side quests and stuff and see what those are all about, right? And uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this game. Like it's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. So um so I'm gonna climb here. Mm-hmm. Let's go climb. Where to next? I don't know. For now, we rest. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial capital. What up, buttonist? <sighs> this whole place is falling apart. What's up, bro? <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Is it? Ah, uh, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Mm, okay, okay. I'd be happy to. Okay, I'll, I'll... Oh, thank you. I'll do it for now. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. I will need an axe. I'm gonna do some choppy chop drops. Let's prioritize the quest. It is a priority. We need quests. <laughs> Let's go get the other one here. Can I go like through here? Can I? Can I go in here? Okay, fine. I'll leave you be. Jeez, what's up, bro? Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. A tiger! You may have been born a slave. Would you rather you went without? Quick, 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 quick. What's up, bro? You another one of Sid's strays? What? We all are. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. Uh, okay, uh, okay, cool. I'm slightly better off here than out there in the world. Are you still talking, bro? Goodbye. Let's go. Cool. See what this other quest is. Don't like think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Kenneth, the kitchen head. Ah, a new face, and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. Maybe. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. Uh, whoa, really? I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. I see the steam there. I will prioritize the quests. <laughs> I, 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 oh, meal. I gave it a look. Wait, how long has it been? But they're, they're like right there. You could have just told them, hey, all of you, get up, come get your food. What the f What the fuck? I'm not a waitress. Your food. Or a waiter. <coughs> uh, might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? 
Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Slave crest. I'm hoping this is just introductions to side yeah. quests, because this is a very boring side quest. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. Only but half lame? Took me in nonetheless. <laughs> The hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. All right, so what is it? The Orchestrion. Hmm, background music played in the hideaway can be changed by accessing the Orchestrion. The tracklist is expanded using Orchestrion rolls acquired from main scenario quest shops or treasure coffers. I see. What is this one? I see. Very the nice. Blood were quick to sound the retreat once so what's the thing up? that is up there, though? A lot of good that icon. Wait, you want to talk to me? Got if you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers, too. Lols. <laughs> lol, 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 lols. Hey, Otto. Sid can take some getting used to. But his heart's in the right place. Okay, then. Give him a chance. Good evening, sir. Here's your bowl of stew. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Yeah, water uh, and sun. Food. Just a moment. And I need nutrients. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. Oh, that's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. The wise button. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? A perchance, yes. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's. Uh... Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. You the thousand tomes, yes. Harpocrates. That sounds I need to I need to check something. Yeah, we have to check <coughs> about his name. Uh, it's not what I thought. Oh well. You the thousand tomes. I have a few new notes that might interest you. <laughs> the thousand tomes comprehend the compendium of the Ellison lore, covering everything from basic terms to important persons, geography, and history. New information is constantly added as Clive progresses to the story. Past active time lore entries can also be viewed here. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Oh! oh. You wish to study the tomes? That is great. Wow. This is kind of cool. Relevant top is dominant icon bearer. Battle of Nisa, the Deathlands, Sit Hideaway. We have persons of interest, we got Lay of the Lane, Mysteries of the Realm, the Bestiary. 
if I go on dummy. Priming. Where is priming? Persons of interest. Benedicta Harmon. Commander of the Kingdom of Wellwood's elite intelligentiary. Intelligencers. We sit by her legion's side at the high stable of state, most recently in their negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zernish stronghold. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Ben Benedicta also has eyes and ambitions for Hugo Coop. The big guy with the big cock. So where's it? The king? Where's mom in all this? Right? <laughs> Sid Sidolphus Telemann. The king of Welliot. Is she here? Annabella Rosefield. Els Elwin. Okay. Not the same person, then. Wait a second. I kind of. Look at the nose. Very. Hmm. I wonder if they're related. Perhaps. Fuck you, mother. Wow. So this is a lot of stuff that we can read. Maybe I'll do an episode one day where I read some of this stuff. Probably not. You guys probably don't care about that. Just let me know. You are always welcome, Clive. Okay. Fuck it, that's all. <laughs> Don't not, yes. You gotta put shit over your crops. All done, I presume? Splendid, splendid. Oh, they were bearers. Awesome. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Yeah! Quest completed! Oh! We needed that that white right. Treasure coffers, countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, and uh, just waiting to be plundered. And if you do find one, don't hesitate to kick it open with X and reap the bounty. Go on, no one's looking. Um, badge of metal. Very interesting. What is this? Uh, the strength of a city is defined by the god that men its walls. The strength of the city's god is defined by the pride in their hearts and the laurels of on their breasts. This badge provides its wearer with one of the two. Look at that! We got an increased defense. Oh, yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about. None of these. Type cheap accessories. Hey, Carpenter, what's up, bro? Excuse me. Sumi my sin! Over by the garden, send me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Here we are. I better get this to 
Jeffrey, was it? Oh, Reginald! I disagree! Then we got Reginald. Hey, Jeffrey, what's up, bro? Oh, you're back. Is it just me? Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. But does he kind of look like Putin? Is it, is it just me? Bro kind of looks like Putin. this be enough this will do nicely thank you with a bit of luck the walls won't be falling in on us just yet that sounds ominous oh it's not as bad as all that and it's a damn sight better than the alternative we're safe we're warm and we're hidden what more could we ask for now stop fretting and take this you've earned it welcome to the fold there's no need to now, it's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Quest completed. McDo and Ben. Ooh. A gill bug. Huh. Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather from the fact that it is highly sought after by physicers for use in brewing medicine. In summer, when the beetles are most numerous, children across the world will spend nigh every waking hour collecting specimens in readiness to exchange them for a handful of coppers. As children have tiny hands, however, this amount to fewer than one might expect. The valuable can be traded for gill. A gill bug. Interesting. Used in crafting. Huh. Well then. Hey, Taya! She's not going to heal any quicker with you hovering around like a blood fly. <laughs> mm, no, okay, whatever. All right, let's just go do the main quest now, right? We need to do stuff. Make for the Great Wood. We are going to the Great Wood. Chocobo! Good girl. Hungry, are you? I'm a good girl. I am hungry. Open the world map. Yes, I want to open the world map. Bait for the great wood. <gasps> the great wood, southwestern Sandbrick. So deep and vast is the great wood. It serves as a defensive barrier between the Grist Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while its denizens, debtor, foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest, everlasting night. Ooh, everlasting night. So it's so dense that sunlight doesn't pass through. Is that it? Well, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go check out the great wood. Let's see how. Oh, oh. Ooh, I want to live there. Mm -hmm. I want a cabin in there. Well, maybe not a place where there's so many bugs. Like that, because that 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 specifically. Blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the crystal road. And I told you we're outlaws. You want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. And a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torgo. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. 
Shining Embers! Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Use the left button to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick Attack, Heal, Cast Cure on Clive. Ravage, launch an enemy into the air. Oh. The accessory is known as the Ring of Timely Assistance. Removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this item is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. I think that's the one that I removed, Did right? Did I mention that be deadly beasts? They'll be deadly beasts. Nothing to try. So... Let me see here. Right, that's the one, right? Of timely... Assistance? Pet commands are executed automatically and Turgle's actions will adapt to Clive's the ring of time. Oh, yeah, you know what? No, I want that. Yeah. I don't want to have to deal with the doggy. I, I'm going to make the doggy that he... The doggy has been very trained. And the doggy knows what to do. And I don't have to tell it what to do. I want to just focus on my own battles. Right? So, I'm okay with that. As we get, like, accessories, I guess, are stronger. You know, we'll replace it, but... For the time being. Yeah. Mm, I love forests. With the moss and the green and the. Maybe they're friendly like Jordan. Oh, maybe they're not. You know what? Sick of Jordan. You know what? Yeah, boy! The one. <coughs> Level 12! Mm. We still have a way to go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Hmm. The big old lizard there. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Oh, I see shiny. Let's try and stay out of its path. Oh, remember when I said to be deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs of these parts are much better. And you only need to mention this now. Sick of Torgal! Over here! Get him, boy! Get him! You know what I mean! Sick of Torgal! Get him! Don't let them get away! I see, I see, I see. Wait, I thought I saw... Wasn't there a shiny somewhere? Did I grab the shiny? I thought I saw... Where was I? Did I get... Sh I, did, I did get shiny, I guess. Um... What are my items? Yeah, let's, um... Add these my shortcuts. Uh, uh. 
after you. Thank you kindly. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Look at that scene with the mountains Some and everything. Say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Like, imagine just have like, like a log house like right there. Well, okay, I guess there's a lot of stone and stuff, but like, imagine if. You look outside your window, you wake up in the morning, that's what you see. Like... Yeah, paradise. Minus the... killer lizard, but you know. Two sharp fangs. I'm assuming that those are crap for crafting. Alright, come on. There's gonna be a fight right here. Right. Yep. Hashtag called it. Oh, why did I didn't say that? Turn out to be a friend of yours, do we? Sick of toggle. Ah, I dodged. Come on! I tried. Bam! Get wrecked, boy! Get wrecked, Get wrecked boy! Mm. Ooh, wait, that's a. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, a dragon talon. Ooh, using crafting. Upon close inspection of a lesser dragon's foot, one may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. This eccentric appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill. Ooh, we just got a bunch of sharp fangs. I think that's what we just got. If there is one thing for which the fauna of Valistia do not want, it is more dagger sharp fangs to line their slavering bars. And so these Valistian, fortunate enough not to succumb to set fangs, have could seen ingenious ways of fashioning them into myriad articles of virtue. Of Veltu? Veltu? Viermeratu? VRTU ranging from cutlery to bijouterie. Bijouterie, um, 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 jewelry. B bijouterie is, is French for jewelry. Now you know! Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. Yes. Oh, well, yes, quite. All right. So I say we stop this episode here. And I'll see you all in the next one, I guess. Later. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.